What up, players? It's Warboss Tip in this mug. Welcome to day four of my April food camp for the Summer Painting Challenge 2023. Look at this guy. It's all blinged out. He is done and dusted, as they say. Uh, really happy I got to finish him off and get everything done that I needed to. He's a great model. Got a lot of action. Uh, just like with the other models, I uh, painted up a, a very simple skin recipe. Bugman's Glow, Kidding Flesh Tone, hit it with a flesh wash, and then a little bit of Drakenhof Nightshade, really thinned down, and that got him where he needs to be. Uh, I'm going to add the transfers on as like a addendum. After everything is done, my main objective is to get back into the flow of assembly line painting. And I feel like I did that with this challenge. This is the model that I painted up. I originally painted this in gold. And I had the like the golden headlights, bright, bright yellow. And I think when I looked at the model, it just did not look Raven Guard enough for me. So I still have the camouflage netting. Uh, I do want to do a review for this because I only saw three videos on this. Do you have this product? Have you ever heard of this product? Apparently, you just uh, cut a section off, cut away the border so you don't have this uh, edge, and then just um, pull... The netting so that they are, all the little joins break and it creates a very natural looking net. And then from there, you just like slap some paint on it, roll it around in some pigments to weather it up. What I would like to do is roll it up, bunch it up, get it really weathered looking, uh, douse it in black paint with some um, like sooty <laughs> black um, pigments and stuff. And then just drape it across the back, kind of like how old tanks would have the netting hanging across the back like that that way also i don't have to worry about painting this interior stuff it creates like a canopy almost for the the riders inside and i think it'll make a nice little effect it'll look almost like a like a floating rhino because it'll give more of that box shape instead of this pickup truck shape anyways that's it for today's progress the vehicle and the uh, lieutenant We'll see if I can finish. I'm not going to have much time tonight to work on these guys. Hopefully, I can get the metallics and everything else I need to get done with them. If not, this might need to be uh, something I do in an uh, overdrive, overtime, because I I don't know if I can put the time, find the time to do it. But let's get to the question of the day. It is what faction or army do you just have no interest in whatsoever in painting? And I know this is hard because like most most games... You always find something that you want to paint. And um, the only thing that I'm really not interested in at all are the Necrons. The Necrons for 40k and maybe um, like the Zinch stuff for uh, Age of Sigmar. Like the Screamers and the de Pink Horrors and the Demons. It, the color schemes are just too bright, too crazy for me. Uh, my mind like shuts off when I look at all those bright colors. And uh, the Necrons just, they don't feel, they don't look fun to me to paint. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe I'll paint one and it'll be my favorite army and I'll get rid of all this other stuff. But uh, that's my answer. So thanks for watching, guys. Head on over to the Discord if you're not there already. Hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below before you go. Um, I don't know if you remember, at uh, some point I had unboxed these Raven Guard transfers. So I'm going to be looking for some Microsol and Microset. This might be another thing I do in an overtime. I might not get to it in this April boot camp. But uh, I do want to use Microsol and Microset to put on uh, a big Raven Guard symbol there. Like some 19, Roman numeral 19s all around. And um, yeah, okay. So before I start coughing my lungs up, I'm going to call it there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Special thank you as always to my patrons, Daniel Sprinkle, Play It Painted, Dicey Guy, and Pix. If you'd like to become a patron of my studio, the link is down below in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for day number five.